Training your dog to get along well with people, in homes, and with other dogs is not really a nicety. It can make the difference between being in a home and being in a shelter. This device wants to tilt the deck toward the former. Companion is an autonomous dog training device. It uses lights, sound, a treat launcher, and a camera with AI processing to do what that rather expensive dog trainer you were going to hire was going to do, and perhaps in some ways do it better. We sense everything your dog is doing using a camera, and then we have a computer inside the device that thinks about, given what your dog's doing, how should it respond. Um, typically, we'll use lights to, as an occasion setting stimulus. So the dog will understand that, oh, with the lights on, it's time to play or it's time to engage. And then we use the treats to indicate which are desirable behaviors. So it sounds like you're just doing positive things, positive reinforcement, as opposed to harsh or scolding things. We reward for the things you want to see. And if your dog is doing something that you'd want to intercede on, like we teach you to distract your dog. Um, you can distract your dog using something that's good for your dog, like learning a new trick, a new uh, behavior, or um, just relaxing. Now here's what it will look like when it comes out to consumers in middle of 21. Aside from all those sensors and the hardware that it uses, more importantly is its machineness. It has unfailing attention, constant repeatability, utter precision in how it interacts with your dog, and because it uses machine vision, it can see things your dog is doing and class them in a way that humans really aren't wired for. Animals already talk and communicate quite a bit through movement and posture. Knowing this, what we know is technology is going to help us pick up on all those things over time, helping us more deeply understand all the animals we love. Now the timing could be interesting for a companion, not that they planned it this way, but a pandemic that eventually recedes could send millions of people and their kids back to work and school, leaving millions of these guys home alone for the first time. Separation anxiety, which a lot of dogs suffer from. How does your device help with that? We've noticed an uh, extremely interesting and cool byproduct, which is it seems to be very effective to help with separation anxiety. This is still very early days, but we've seen results that we published in leading journals, actually with some of our partners, including the SFSPCA. And our hypothesis is the way it works is it allows your dog some structure, some engagement, something to focus their attention on as the dog learns to be more and more comfortable with you leaving for larger and larger periods of time. Now, if you're thinking all this sounds like a master plan to put dog trainers out of business, it's actually quite different. It's a plan to, in many ways, elevate dog trainers. Companion plans to recruit top trainers, teach them its system, and have them available via the Companion app. These are service dog level trainers that are there to monitor the data of your dog interacting with the device and also answer all of the questions you might have about, raise, about being a new pet parent. Uh, making that training even more fun and engaging and satisfying a variety of different curiosities. And then all of that is combined with the third component, which is this beautiful app where you get to see all of these fun videos from your dog coming in, in addition to having real-time access and video access to your companion coaches along the way. By all indications, we could use a boost training our companions. A recent Mintel study found that training ranked last out of seven major ways we spend time on our pets. And a recent Merck study found, ominously, that almost three-quarters of those who are first-time adopters of a so-called pandemic puppy have considered rehoming it, much of that certainly driven by behavior and obedience issues. Now, the treat launcher, that's this slot right here, is the crowd pleaser. A lot of folks look at that and say, that's, that's really interesting. What's key about this is how it's so tightly correlated with what the machine is seeing and learning about your dog's behavior to tie the delivery of a treat very tightly with low latency to what the dog is doing. That way, there is less, if any, confusion and frustration on the part of the animal trying to understand, why did I just get a treat? If you're a human training a dog, you might see something you like and then take a second or two to go to the kitchen counter and get a treat and give it to the dog. By then the dog is doing something else and now thinks you're rewarding it for that. And you get this latency driven confusion that can make it frustrating to train a dog, both for the dog and for you. And what about all those treats? Some of you have asked, is one of the new commands ought to teach my dog, lug your belly off the ground after it gets too many. Uh, everyone should be concerned with their dog's nutritional intake, and we are as well. Um, so we actually will, will make sure to ask every single dog owner how much their dog weighs, so we know exactly how many treats your dog can have each day. And we, we are strong believers in the certified treats we use for the device, both our own and with third parties, and we know exactly how many calories are in each of those treats. So we limit your dog's participation um, based on their weight for how much we train each day. 
So some folks might look at the companion device taking on a relationship with a dog and say, aren't you kind of punting and saying, here dog, have a relationship with companion as opposed to with me. If you want a better relationship with your dog, so you might go seek a professional trainer to help train your dog so that you have a better day-to-day -day relationship with it. We work in the same way. Um, we are a supplement to your relationship. We are never a substitute. The companion device will be finishing its trials in shelters in a select few private homes and going out to the public by mid-21, when pricing and terms will be announced.